Your gaming PC needs an SSD, right? Right? Yep, indubitably. But even though they offer the absolute fastest storage performance possible, they're expensive, short-lived, and too small to be able to fit a tenth of your Steam library on without mortgaging a kidney or two. Well, that's the traditional received wisdom of solid-state drives, but no longer! Yeah, because you can now buy one of the fastest SSDs around with a full half terabyte of speedy storage for about $60. And a faster one terabyte drive is just $120. That's 12 cents per gigabyte. And that's why Jacob's getting really enthusiastic. Super enthusiastic. Is this SSD savior from Samsung, Crucial, Corsair, Western Digital, Seagate, or any of the above? Nope, it's a drive from a company you've probably never heard of. But seriously, hmm. don't let that put you off. Adlink is a company that's probably not on your radar. You might have spotted its SSDs while perusing Amazon, but ignored it for its unfeasible cheapness and the gnawing suspicion its drives are probably built from NAND flash chips filled with sawdust and run at the same pace as tape drives on 80s computers. Yeah, I was going to throw in not a whopper from War Games here, but then I realised the movie's about 36 years old and Jacob wouldn't get the reference. Let's play a game of Global Thermonuclear War. I literally have no idea what you're talking no. about. about Defcon? Remember Defcon? I can even see the words. I still have no idea what they mean. It's just gibberish. But anyway, we're getting off track here. The point is that even if you've never heard of AdLink, you would have heard of all the companies that produce the components making up the S70 NVMe drive that's quickly becoming our favorite SSD around right now. When it comes to PCIe SSDs, the current price performance standard is the combination of Toshiba memory and a Fizon memory controller. It's a combo of the day and means that SSD manufacturers can pair affordable memory with an off-the-shelf high-performance controller. And that's exactly what the likes of Corsair, Seagate and Silicon Motion, among others, have done. And now AdLink has done exactly the same. In fact, the S70 and Seagate Biocuda are so similar it looks like they could have come out of the exact same factory. Mm, suspicious. This one terabyte version comes with four 256 gigabyte packages of 64 layer Toshiba 3D TLC NAND flash memory for storage and the Fizen PS5012 to E12 controller and some SK Hynix DDR4L cache. That's exactly what you'll find underneath the Seagate sticker too. They've even got the same PCB part number. The 512GB S70 is a little different, and not just in the capacity stakes either. There are just a pair of 256GB Toshiba NAND flash packages and a DDR3L Nanya RAM cache instead, but it still uses the Fizon controller. They're both using a full PCIe 3.0 by 4 interface too, and that's important, especially for the cheaper half terabyte drive. Our previous pick for budget SSD hero was the WD Blue SN500. It's an NVMe drive that was just in my pocket, and it's got decent read-write performance with a bargain price too. But because of its limited cost, we could happily overlook the fact that it's only sporting a by 2 PCIe 3.0 interface. And it's just in there with your loose change. Yeah. But now AdLink has ripped up the rulebook on SSD pricing, and these 1TB and 512 gigabyte drives are blowing the market wide open. I can have this in my pocket all the time as well. Yeah, Perhaps. keep on a little keychain. Given the fact that AdLink is undercutting the competition, you probably expect to make a sacrifice on performance to grab such high capacity SSDs for such little cash. But you'd be wrong. The 1TB S70 is right up there against both the WD Black SN750 and the Samsung 970 Evo Plus. In purely synthetic terms, the two established brands do have the faster drives, but as you can see, only just. And when the AdLink SSD is around $100 cheaper for the same capacity and practically the same storage speed, you've got to wonder why you'd look any further. The 512GB version is slower, thanks to fewer of the Fizen controller's memory channels being filled, and the write speeds inevitably suffer the most. It's still almost twice as fast as the WD Blue SN500, and right now it's also slightly cheaper. In short, if you're rocking a spare M.2 socket on your motherboard, then there's an SSD right here with your name on it. While the lack of an established name might be a worry, the Taiwanese SSD maker has produced an unfeasibly affordable SSD that packs in some of the finest components in the industry. Yeah, its constituent parts are all eminently recognizable and trustworthy, and the 1200 total bytes written endurance figure should also give you some confidence that this is robust enough SSD to trust as your main boot drive and the home for all your precious games and saves. Whether you want to go the full fat one terabyte route or opt for the more parsimonious 512 drive, either of the AdLink S70 SSDs will see you right, and for almost half the price of the competition. So how has AdLink managed this feat? Is it manufacturing SSDs for someone else and shipping its own cheaper versions out the back door? Is it buying up a job lot of Fizen controllers and Toshiba memory to create some sort of mega loss leader? We, we don't know. AdLink assures us that it has its own factories where it does part of the assembly process itself, so we're pretty sure it hasn't just found a box left in a bar somewhere in downtown Taipei. 
and there still seems to be enough stock to fill out the orders too. But even so, if you're after a new SSD today, then we'd suggest considering the Adlink S70. With the price and performance this good, there has to be a catch, but we haven't been able to find one yet. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this very useful indeed. Indeed. Check back for more hardware stuff from us and gaming things from the lovely Griffin Caroline too. And if you don't mind a good old read, there's also PCGamesN.com where we write things down too. Well said. See you next time.